Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and this is a video that's been requested by a viewer Einses Schaap in the Netherlands so what we're going to do today is we're going to just show you a little bit of the surrounding countryside basically just outside of my garden entirely I just want to give you a little glance at this area that it really is looking quite scruffy at the moment but I, what I want to point out to you is this viola now obviously that's a gonorrhea and a cat that's just beginning to wake up now but this cute little viola which is a native plant has decided to populate the whole understory of my gonorrhea and I'm very happy with it we're gonna see this in a few moments in the hedgerow as we proceed up the road but um yeah i'm quite pleased with that and as you can see i live in a rural area surrounded by mostly farmers fields and some houses and it's quite a windy area because we've a lot of these wind turbines nearby let me just jump up in this ditch here and show you the field beyond. There we go. Watch out for the nettles, Rachel. Okay, so I think you can just about make out the turbines. And over there are the nearest mountains to us. Now, I'm in Ireland, so we don't have serious mountains. But these are the Wicklow Hills. And the sugar loaf is the most notable one among those, I suppose, really they're glorified hills rather than mountains. So we're going to walk up the road just a little bit. And unfortunately, there's not a lot to see in the hedgerows at the moment. Some dandelions. The primroses are mostly gone now at this stage. So I've probably judged it quite badly in terms of showing you what the surrounding countryside is like. Here we have my, the outside of my neighbour's garden and he's chosen to just leave the natural hedgerow do its thing here. And as you can see, we have gorse, which is this yellow flowered plant here. Really, really prickly, but smells divinely of coconut when it's in flower. I don't like it much because I get gorse seedlings popping up in my flower beds, not because of him, but just because there's so much of it around. So it's not my favorite, but I can appreciate the scent. And then just walking up the road here, I'm not going to point the camera at my neighbor's houses because they really will not appreciate that. The windmills there, can we see? They're going down going around quite strongly today the forest up there we have a few clumps of the primroses left in there and this is primula vulgaris which pops up in the grass everywhere including my garden and at one stage I dug up all the ones that were in the lawn in the garden I planted them around a tree and they really did look rather nice. In terms of species names, Vulgaris is about as bad as it gets, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. And over here we have some bluebells mixed in with the primrose, but I don't think they're the native ones. The Spanish bluebells. This cute little viola. Also quite dainty. 
and here I am just at the top of the road that we just saw, the crossroads that comes out onto a larger road. This one here. Turbines. road down to the school where I work and just not going to swing around and show my neighbor's house instead we'll look at the ground here and come back to the road I live on which is called the yellow lock which I guess means that there was once water here but not that I can see and the Wicklow Hills And I felt that this video wouldn't be complete without giving you a glimpse at the wild garlic. So at this time of year we have a lot of this wild garlic here in the hedgerows. And if we just go in and see, it's quite a pretty flower. And my husband harvests it and puts it in the dinner because he does the cooking and he likes to cook and he does very nice things with this as well. The leaves as well are quite kind of spicy and, um, and lend themselves well to the, the food. However, he took a bad notion one day and decided to dig up a few plants and um, put them in the garden. And very strangely, those plants just disappeared one day. I have no idea how that happened, but uh, yeah, the wild garlic really is quite invasive and not something any self-respecting gardener would like to have in their garden. But it is pretty, isn't it? And okay, we're home again now, just standing in the drive and looking out. I hope you liked this little tour up and down the road just outside my house. If so, give the video the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then give it the thumbs down. Thanks very much for watching, as always, and hope you're enjoying the wonderful sunshine, if it's glorious like this, wherever you are. Bye for now.